Hello, I'm Kevin Zettel, and today I'm here to talk to you about how you can maximize the value of your security ecosystem with Infoblox. First, I'll give you a brief overview of Infoblox's ecosystem and how it works. Then, I'll give you a quick walkthrough of Infoblox's integration with Splunk to give you detailed information about events in your Splunk instance. Finally, I'll close it out with a brief summary of the benefits of Infoblox's ecosystem and the value of what I'll be showing you. First, a brief overview of what Infoblox's ecosystem is and how it works. When events occur on your network, such as obtaining a new lease, or creating a host, or a malicious site being accessed, Infoblox triggers events on suppliances to send information about what just happened to third-party vendors and partners. These partners include people like Splunk, Palo Alto, Tenable, and many more. These security partners can then use this information to quarantine endpoints, block connections, run scans, much, much more as we'll see in a minute. As we already know, the SOC team has many challenges. They get too many alerts already as it is, and as such, they can't prioritize, and they have to search for the context around the event, and they have to set up the firewall policy manually, and they have to scan manually. In the end, this causes a slow and hindered remediation. However, when Infoblox detects security events, they don't leave your SOC team hanging with nothing. This is because Infoblox provides you with Dossier, which provides you with tons of context around your events that are occurring on your network. This can be things such as the malware campaign information, passive DNS information, and a lot more information. Infoblox is integrated with Splunk, and as such, Infoblox can share this information while Splunk can filter the event information and give you a summary of the hits that are occurring on your network with detailed logs as well as show you the top information like the top client IP, top user, top access domains, top threat types, and many more. While with Dossier, you get to dig in and drill down on Dossier results with the contextual information needed for your teams to research everything, all inside the Splunk server. Here, on the Splunk Enterprise server, Infoblox has two apps, one for connection and the other one for reporting. The apps are configurable when you install the apps for how often you want to pull down the feeds and the security information from the cloud. Once installed, you no longer need to worry as the feed information will automatically be downloaded. Now that it has been loaded, we can see the events that are occurring. As explained earlier, this also organizes it into the top clients, top users, top domain name, top query type, top threat priority, top threat class, top policy name, top feed name, much more. Now also here, I can click onto and drill into anything, such as the threat and site data exfiltration. Here, we can see the top IPs of who's been exfiltrating data, as well as the users and the domain names that they're using. Much more information to just that. We can then go up and look into any of these queries and do research right here without having to look at other resources. And this way, we'll know if the site is truly malicious or not. By giving us records associated with the events, this includes information such as the malware analysis, the web reputation, the who is information, and much more. In the end, saving you and your team hours of valuable time looking up all this information where you can play with it all in one spot. Now let's briefly talk about the benefits that we just saw. First, we can share feeds, and although this is with Splunk, we can share it with anyone else. And we can give context around events using our dossier. In the end, greatly increasing the operational efficiency and time to remediate. Well, thank you for your time. If you have any questions or concerns, you can find me or any of the other experts here at Infoblox on the Infoblox community website. Thank you for your time, and have a great rest of your day.